and those prices are already priced up at eBay prices. And you've just hit my car. You're lucky it's a scrap heap. Emma is currently dying yet again from some illness that she's clearly picked up from school. Teachers are germ magnets. I've just been out and picked up a, in fact, I can't say because it's for Christmas. But while I'm here, I'm gonna pick up some medication and I think there are two charity shops that opens at 10 o'clock on a Sunday, I think. Let's go check it out. Be rude not to after that diabolical charity shop. Yeah, but get a little sausage roll or something. Have a good one, man. That charity shop was the only one that was open. And let me tell you, it is the worst charity shop in my local area regarding pricing. I'm sure some of those prices are great if you want to buy it for yourself, but this is a reselling channel and we're talking about buying things from one marketplace, in this case, a charity shop, to sell on another, in my case, eBay. And those prices are already priced up at eBay prices. And you just hit my car. You're lucky it's a scrap heap. So it's almost impossible to find anything in there. Don't get me wrong, there's been a couple of times where I've managed to catch them, but it's very, very, very few and far between. Even from people who are not resellers, it is one of the most complained about shops when it comes to pricing. They're in there today having a problem with their till, trying to work out if they should shut the shop or not. One of them's egging the other one on to shut the shop, the other one wants to stay open. I'm guessing one of them's a manager and one of them isn't. One of them has targets and one of them doesn't. We can't always find something and you can't complain at the prices because you can just move on to another shop when they're open. It is a Sunday, this was impromptu. I've got Emma her drugs, so I'm gonna go home and administer them. Well, that has just filled the garage up completely. What the frick am I gonna do with that? It's a lot later in the day now. Just because I'm not selling on eBay does not mean I'm not selling at all. Let's take a look. So the auctions that have actually ended and received bids are as follows. Beats by Dre sold for £25.99, paid £5 from a charity shop. Sony Ericsson sold for £9, paid £5 from here. Tray of Nokia mobile phone chargers, £5, bought them from here, sold off about 30 quid's worth and put them back in. A tray of gaming controllers, again, bought them all from here, picked out loads of good ones, sold some off, put the rest back in, sold for £14. The Xbox from one of my previous videos sold very cheap. They didn't actually put the right thing in the description. Happens a lot, but it is what it is. Sold for £19. Sold very cheap, in my opinion. A tray of mixed electrical sold for £8.77. Quantity of paperback Tarzan books sold for £16. I paid £3.50. A selection of playing cards, auction, didn't receive any bids. Box of toy figures, etc. £8.50, absolute bargain. Just a bundle of stuff that I put together. Bundle of soft toys, auction expired, no bids. Couple of remote control cars that I got from here. I've sold one of them for £80 and I put the rest into here. I paid £12 for the big bundle before. Cindy, auction actually expired. These auctions are still running. I told them to put both of these together as a lot, but they've seemed to have split them out, which is a shame. One of them has had a bid for £5 and the other one has had no bid so far. Riding boots, they've had no bid so far. Everything is £5 starting bid, but I know what's had bids and what's haven't. Again, annoyingly, they wouldn't let me split these out, but you've got Trickers in here, you've got Lokes, you've got Kickers, Henry Lloyd. So far, current bid of £7. A miniature bottle of brandy, no bid so far. Army bayonet, current bid of £11. Large survival knife, current bid of £26. And a couple of kendo swords and fighting stick, £11.50. Now, bear in mind, all auctions have an 18% hammer fee plus a £1.85 lotting fee. 
So all of that needs to come off in consideration. But I'll give you a full updated figure in tomorrow's video when everything is sold and all the dust has settled. So far, it's looking like there is approximately 130, maybe 140 pound coming my way on the next payout. But I still have 120 to 140 pound owed to me from a previous auction a couple of weeks ago. But I think 18% plus £1.85 and taking away all of the extra hassle, I'll take it. I had a parcel go missing around about a month ago. It was a Disney Tum Tum thing. I don't know how you say that. Tum Tum, Tum Tum, Sum Sum. Customer reached out. She was very, very nice, very, very polite. I chased up with Packlink, got the refund, refunded her. I was paid, she was paid, sorted. Turned up today, didn't it? This is what I mean. Parcels are turning up, so don't be so quick to refund. Try and use everything within your power, within rights and within integrity to prolong the payout. Whether that means wait until the very last day to respond to something, or if it means extending things with eBay if possible, communicate with both eBay and the customer and do your best you can to sort of prolong things. That's what they're doing. I've currently got a £95 plus postage claim pending with Packlink and they are stalling. They are digging their heels in, hoping that it turns up. I know they are. Even though they were quick enough to send me an email to say that my parcel was underpaid for, apparently, every time they do that. Whatever happens, whenever that happens, they take a payment through PayPal. I raise a dispute with PayPal and PayPal cancels the payment. I've never had an issue with that either. So just got to be vigilant with these things and don't just accept everything on face value and don't be so quick to refund in this current climate. Going forward normally, you've got to do everything within the channel, but I'm saying at the minute, I'm going to play the game where I'm just holding on every last second that I can within a reasonable time frame. So even though I'm staying away from the eBay postal situation madness, I'm still making sales in other places. Have a little check in your local area for your local auctions and see if you have anything near you. If you think there's not, you might be surprised because there's a couple of independents that are normally just hidden away from the public knowledge. You might be surprised to find you've got one close to you. Yesterday, I sold the Mega Drive from the previous video along with the joystick to somebody who watches the channel. Ross, I appreciate it, mate. Thank you very much. He's paid, but he's asked me to hold on to it until after the new year just to avoid any loss or anything like that. Very happy to, not a problem. So thank you once again, I appreciate that. Update on the guy with the GameCube. He didn't go ghost, but he did back out, which I'm really surprised that he messaged me and I'm thankful for. Somebody gave him a stack of 53 GameCube games. I'll put a picture up here so you can see them. Can't work out the titles. I'm sure if I zoomed in, I could. But then he said his friend actually found the GameCube for him too. So I'm happy for him. Would have been a nice sale though. So after the new year, I'll probably put that onto eBay myself anyway. Or maybe I might go and see if CEX will give me a good price. Please do consider subscribing if you're not already. And you can support the channel for absolutely zero pennies by liking the video. Likes are free. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow.